this overview, we'll show you the highlights of SmartView Connections. With Connections, you can leverage data from cloud applications and many on-premise applications, such as Hyperion Financial Management and Hyperion Planning, using Microsoft Office tools such as Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. You can define, manage, and modify connections to access different data sources, perform multi-source reporting and freeform ad hoc analysis, enter data, and use task lists. On an Excel worksheet, you can use multiple connections to retrieve the data that you need. However, only connections to SBase support multiple ad hoc analysis grids per worksheet. There are two kinds of connections, shared and private. Based on your deployment, shared connections are automatically generated or defined by an administrator and shared with multiple users. Although using shared connections is more common, use a private connection if you need to connect to just one named server an administrator hasn't shared any connections, or you need to connect to different systems that aren't yet shared. You access shared connections from a central server location and can store them on individual SmartView for Office clients, or as administrator-configured XML files stored locally or on a web server. You can access these connections by file from the SmartView panel. Private connections are defined using a wizard and connect you to one data source or application. You can create and maintain private connections by saving a shared connection to your computer or by entering a URL using Quick Connect to retrieve the data sources and artifacts that you can access on a specific server. To differentiate connections, you can provide intuitive names that aren't available to others and that specify the target application or queue. For example, planning applications, reporting applications, and tax reporting applications. You can use names with HS getval functions and Visual Basic for applications. Let's explore connections in a sample application. In the Office application, access your data by establishing connections to your data providers using a private or predefined shared connection. You can use the Private Connections panel to create, edit, rename, and delete selected connections. If no shared connections are available and you have administrative privileges, you can define a shared connection using advanced options. To define multiple connections, click the current URL once and paste in another URL. Each connection is added to the list. To create a private connection, go to Private Connections and click Create New Connection. For sources other than OBIEE, such as EPM Cloud, SBase, and other on-premise applications, select SmartView HTTP Provider, then specify the URL in the required syntax the target application and cube, and an intuitive name. The connection URL syntax for specific cloud service and on-premise applications is in the documentation on the Help Center. You can add a shared connection to your list of private connections by selecting it and clicking Add to Private Connections. To launch a shared connection, check that you specified the URL in Advanced Options, select the connection, and sign in to connect to the target. To launch a private connection, Select the connection, sign in to the data source, and double-click the item, like a form or ad hoc grid, that you want to use. You can modify a private connection in two ways. By right-clicking on the Actions panel to change the URL, target application and cube, or connection name, or by modifying a worksheet connection using document contents. This lets you update a worksheet to use another server or environment, such as switching from test to production. Because SmartView remembers worksheet connections, you can email or share a file with others by refreshing the connection. This retrieves data based on credentials and access rights. You can disconnect all connections from the SmartView home list or disconnect individual connections. In this overview, we showed you the highlights of SmartView connections. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.